Hi, welcome to the ninth video showing you how I'm building a swimming pool in my garden. In the last video, we started building the first course of three courses of blocks. In this video, I'm going to pick up some nails from the floor. I'm gonna line up some wheelbarrows and I'm also gonna make a bit more progress on the pool. Enjoy. Okay, so first things first, I need to do a couple of chores in the garden, like remove a load of the plants that were growing next to the pool. I needed to build a wheelbarrow to move a load of earth from the, the end of the garden into a trailer out the front, which was left over from the pool uh, excavation. I also needed to remove a small tree, get rid of the stump from the tree, mow the lawn, do all that normal sort of stuff. Um, but then, yeah, we're on to the pool build. So needed to reinforce some of the corners of the ICF, which meant cutting some pieces of ply ready to go onto the corners of the pools, which I'll show you next up. Okay, so part of the, um, the process that I need to do is I need to reinforce the short corner. So here's a corner piece here, a uh, long part of the corner, short part of the corner. This is a weak spot. So the guys at uh, the Dura told me it'd be a good idea to reinforce this. So I'm gonna reinforce this short corner with a piece of ply that uh, you just saw me pre-drill. So this ply is gonna fit here and I'm gonna screw it into the, the furrowing strips or the plastic strips from the outside. However, I cannot get an impact driver and a screw down the outside. So I need to take off yet more material from the outside of the wall. It's just part of the process. I need to do it. I think the other corners are accessible. I've already done one corner, but I'm just gonna take some more material away from this corner as well. So yeah, that's the next job. I'll go up to time-lapse. Okay, so now the four, the four boards are in to reinforce those four corners. And now it's time to continue with the plumbing. Okay, so before we go on, I just wanna uh, provide a couple of updates to the design. Um, in a previous video, I had stated that I would have return jets at one end of the pool here, high up, and the other end of the pool was slightly lower down. Um, so the water, clean water will be coming in from there and from there. Um, and the skimmer was at this end because the wind kind of blows in this direction. Um, I've since uh, had a bit of a change of plans and I'm now putting the skimmer in this long wall here because the wind kind of goes across the pool, I can put it there or there. So I've moved it to here and my pipework, my uh, low level suction points, which will take dirty water from the pool is now located just here. So that's these two here. So they are sucking water out of the pool and taking it via these pipes here to the equipment pad. And the four return jets that are bringing heated uh, clean water back into the pool are coming in in the middle of the middle course here and will be angled down slightly. The skimmer's now located there and the higher return jets bringing heated clean water back into the pool are gonna be opposite uh, the other two and will be pushing the water on the surface towards the skimmer. The other update that I'm not sure if I've uh, talked about is uh, I've added a small ledge here, uh, like a bit of a seat. Um, the kids can jump off it and stuff. And I've removed the top step there as well. So it's slightly larger top step, but easy to get in and out with these steps here. I think it looks a bit nicer. I think it'll work a bit better. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the current updates to the pool design. So let's get on with fitting these low level suction points. And I'm also gonna fit these return jets as well. What we're gonna do here is fit one of these wall conduits, which I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I'm gonna fit this into the, the pool, into the lower layer to enable me to screw in my fittings into the two inch female thread at the front. And I'll glue some pipe in the back 
which will give me um, the ability to yeah, take the water out with a pool. This is one of the low level suction points because I don't have main drains. The first thing to do is I've marked 1.7 meters from the end corner of the pool. This is one of the long lengths of the pool, is to cut out the larger diameter hole at the front. So here goes. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that there, but we've got a nice uh, two inch ish hole cut in the inside face of the ICF. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we need to cut this front out uh, to enable me to get this into the, this into the, uh, into the inside. Hopefully this will just push out the back. You'll see. Yep. There it is. Just gonna lock the top. Then it's time to cut the back one out. Uh, next up, we're gonna put it all together. So first thing to is to put the conduit in through the back, like so. And then we'll get this part, put this back through the front, like so. I think you can see that. And then all we need to do is to push this back through the front. Like so. And then we have a conduit through the wall. Okay, so next up we've got this pipe, which I'll be gluing into the back of the conduit, like so. The whole thing is going to look like this when it's done, and then through the wall, and then pipe out the back. So yeah, there you have it. One and two, and now we can get on with the walls. and we're gonna, when the second course is in, we're gonna pick it up and tie it to the second course of ICF onto time-lapse. So now that all the steel has been added to the, uh, the first course, it's time to start building the second course, starting with the corners on the easy long piece that didn't need to be cut at one end. And uh, once that was done, it's time to move on to uh, just clipping those in with those clips top and bottom. Then continue to add the, uh, the long pieces of ICF down one wall. And I think this is about 24 times speeded up, so it really doesn't take long to build these courses when the, um, the ICF is unfolded and is cut to size, ready to go in. I only actually needed to cut three pieces for each course, so about half, uh, cut one block in half and one slightly smaller bit for one end. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have added those vertical steels down one length. They simply weren't needed. I thought I had to tie them to the L bars, but um, I'm going to secure them to the L bars with some uh, a bit of plastic pipe. I'll probably document that in the next video. But they just made getting those ICF blocks on that long wall on the right hand side there so much more difficult than it needed to be. So yeah, um, no need to add those. I don't know why I did it. I thought they need to be tied to the L-bars. They need to be located close to the L-bars at the base, but don't necessarily need to be tied to them. So that's a step I probably could have not done. A fair bit of effort goes into filming and creating these videos. So if you are enjoying them and you are finding them useful, then please subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, back to the video. Right, so um, just fit in the, the second of the low-ish level return jets that are going to go either, the, either side of the skimmer. And um, the challenge here is to get this in the wall. Obviously it won't fit through 
I've, I've cored out the smaller diameter hole from the back and I've cored out a, the larger diameter hole for the front. Um, but in order to get it through, I need to cut out a little bit of this back here so I can slide it down and get it through without, without damaging the front. The first ones I did, the very low level um, suction points uh, aren't very nice on the front. So I'm going to make the damage to the back of the block this time, leaving the front nice and clean. So yeah, this is what we're going to do with a, a carving knife. So I can push that out the back. Slight taper on the top so it can't be pushed out when the pipe's in the bottom. There's this piece, which means we can now get this uh, roughed in the back by bringing that down there. We can push that down to the front. And this will slide. Obviously, I'm going to glue a pipe into the back there, but this will slide in there, making for a nice, perfect finish. Okay, so both of the low level um, or low ish level returns that are going to go either side of the skimmer are in. There's one, and there's the other one. They've got pipes glued in to the back. So, next up is to add the two. Uh, the two ring beams of steel in the top of this second course, and then we can get the third cut course on. So yeah, next up, got the other camera there. It's gonna do the time-lapse, adding all the steel into the top of the second course. So you can't see much detail here, but I'm just um, clipping the steel into the top of that second course. While you watch me do that, um, I thought I may discuss the finish that I'm going to put inside the pool. Um, I think I have arrived on the finish that I am going to go for. Um, I'm not 100%, so the next video I think is going to be a video on the different finishes that you could put inside an ICF pool. And the I'll talk about the finish that I'm going to go for and why. So back to this video, and you can see that um, getting all the blocks that were stored at the front of the house under a tree, they're all a bit mucky, so I need to take all the snails out of them and give them a bit of a clean up uh, before uh, adding them in and adding that third course. I knew exactly which blocks needed to be cut, so cut the blocks there, prepared it all, put the blocks where they needed to go. Again, this is about 25 times the, the speed, and yeah, started adding them all in. I thought I'd just go around the pool in a clockwise direction quite quick to do this and they all went in quite nicely um, quite easily uh, a lot quicker than building it with the blocks that I used the nine inch blocks the hollow blocks that I built the last pool from um, so yeah this stuff is lovely to work with Just a note on those vertical bars that I put down one of those lengths. Um, I'll be adding the rest of those vertical bars at each end and in the other length in the next video. Okay, so this is a bit, a bit different to the last time I climbed in. Three courses are now up. First course that we did in the last video is up. The low level uh, suction points that will take the cool water uh, out of the pool are in. The next course is up with two uh, return, return jets in. So these will be angled slightly down with eyeball outlets to push the water down. And then there's gonna be another two of those in the middle of this course that will push the water across the top towards the skimmer. So any dirt entering the pool will get circulated, hopefully, and then up to the skimmer. So I have no main drains in this pool. There's going to be a ledge along here with some steps in that corner coming down as well. Um, but yeah, in terms of this video, I think we're going to leave it there. So yeah, next step for me is to put all the steel inside this top course because it's just placed on at the moment, put the plumbing in and then start bracing all of these walls uh, with timber inside secured to the floor, ready for the concrete pour, which is when we're going to put about six cubic meters of concrete inside the top of these walls. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.